Hi guys, Sarah here from Crochet Lefty and today we are going to learn how to do these cute little hearts. I actually have a couple of them here. A couple of reds and you can stack these guys out. This is this is a size 3 medium weight and this is a wool I ran weight so these are just the different sizes in yarn and hook so if you wanted to you could sew these together and then you can even do a white one um, in a larger um, yarn and make you know little stackable little um, ornaments or something for Valentine's Day or something. So we're going to do that um, for today's project. You're going to need some yarn and I'm going to use this, uh, oh it kind of looks orange in this in this light, um, but it's more of a, a vintage pink and it's a simply DK in the paint box yarn and the recommended hook for this is a four millimeter and I'm going to use a four millimeter G hook and with this size you'll get this size type heart. So you'll need your hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. So to get things started, we're going to start with a magic circle. And to do that, get your left hand here. You're going to have the end of your yarn over your hand. And this yarn will go over again with a twist. So you're going to just turn your hand. You take your hook and go underneath this one here and slide that making a, a loop there with your magic ring or magic circle you start by chaining up four and this is going to count as your first treble crochet And now we're going to do three treble crochets into the circle. So yarn over twice. Let me start that over. So treble crochet, you're going to yarn over twice. Insert your hook, yarn over one, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. And again, again. So you're going to have three trebles and chain four. Now we're going to do four double crochets. You're going to yarn over one, insert your hook into the circle, yarn over one, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You're going to do that three more times. Keep them grouped together and at this point you could even make your circle just a little smaller and then you can bring this yarn over this piece over so that you can start crocheting it into your tail end into your circle so from here we're going to do <coughs> excuse me we're going to do one treble so yarn over twice, insert your hook into the loop, yarn over one, yarn over and pull through one, I'm sorry, 
Let's try that again. Treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now this treble crochet is the tip of your heart. So now we're going to go back around with four double crochets. So yarn over and do that four double crochets into the loop. And now we're going to let's, see, let's shorten our circle here a little. I'm going to do four trebles, so yarn over twice. Oops, good one. And our last treble. Okay, at this point, just kind of pull up a loop. So we're going to pull our circle together. And you can really start to see sometimes this, the magic circle is a pain in the butt. There we go, it's starting to work. Don't pull it all the way tight because we're going to chain up two here. So one and two. And we're going to insert our hook into the center of the heart there. So insert your hook. And you're going to make a slip knot or slip stitch. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, and pull it through, and then make your slip stitch. Just like that. Okay, and now, now you can pull your heart tight. Don't get the don't get those two ends mixed up. Now you have it all nice and tight. We're going to right into this first treble here. We're going to do two single crochets. So right into that treble, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, insert your hook into that treble, and make another single crochet there. Now we're going to do two half double crochets right into that chain. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three, and again into that same stitch. And now you're going to do three half double crochets into that next 
stitch there. So yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three, and again, two more times. And then the next stitch, two half double crochets into the next stitch. And now you're going to do one half double crochet into the next three stitches. So yarn over, one double crochet, next stitch, one double crochet, sorry about that, and then another double crochet, half double crochet, I'm sorry. Now you should be at the point of that treble that you made from the previous row, and we're going to do one, oh I'm sorry, oh no, that's right, you should be at the treble here, and you're going to do one half double crochet, and one double crochet, all into that same stitch, and that makes the point of your heart. So on the same, do another half double crochet. Now we're going to be going back around and we're going to go two half double crochets into that stitch there and then one half double crochet in the next three stitches. Two and three. Now we're going to do two double crochets into that next stitch. Half double crochets, I'm sorry. And, in, and into the next stitch, three half double crochets into that next stitch. And now two double crochets into that next stitch. Now that we're coming to the top, one single crochet, and then we're going to do one single crochet into that chain three. And now we will do one slip stitch. Find a good spot for it and just do one slip stitch. ending your heart. So from here, pull up a loop, we're going to fasten off, so cut your yarn, pull your end through, and then I'm going to take our yarn needle and we're going to weave in our end. So find a good spot and pull that baby to the back of your work. I like to go through two or three times to make sure it's got a good secure hold and that it's not going to fall apart. Okay, cut that off. And then our next one. We 
these stitches are so tight, it's almost a little difficult to get my yarn needle through. There she go, your little heart. Now I just thought of this. I can see all those little planner um, things. You could take like a a paper clip here. This one's kind of seen better days, and if you wanted to make your own little planner tab there we go and clear off some stuff here There you go. Let's see if I can. That's cute. Maybe get just a longer, get a longer one so it fits better on your planner, or maybe this would be perfect just for a regular book. Well, I hope, whoa. Well, that's it for today's stitch lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little tutorial on how to make a heart. I um, hope you guys hit that subscribe button, and if you really like this video, just hit that little like button and uh, keep watching, and I will keep posting videos. I hope you guys have a great one. Bye.